Hello and welcome to Camper Trailer of the Year 2022, powered by Red Arc. We're here today to review the K9 Coyote. And with its bright and vibrant decal, there's a sense of confidence and swagger about this, this camper. But we're here to scratch beneath the surface. So let's see what the judges think. K9, a new brand to us. I've been in the country for about 18 months. Imported, hybrid, this one with just a single double bed in it. So who's its intended buyer and does it fit their needs? I think this is gonna suit a very conservative couple. They're after something that's just gonna work. And every time they get in it, it works. You don't need to think about anything. So they're, they're really just after that ease of use. And for me, that's its innovation is that there are a lot of imported hybrids in that size and style and price range. But this one in particular, that, that simplicity to me is its innovation. Is that sort of where you sit with it? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's, it's innovative through an idea of what the camper should do rather than what the camper should be. We've all seen this layout a hundred times before. There's nothing new there. It's just on, on how you actually use it that's changed. For self-sufficiency, this is a, a well set up camper as well. You know, heaps of power, heaps of water, um, and it is a good power system. When they get to the caravan park, they don't have to think when they switch it in. Now what about its quality of finish and its, and its build? Like, what do you think about the appliances they've used and the method of construction? Uh, they've got a, a strong double dip galvanised two-piece um, chassis uh, with composite uh, panelling, which is, offers good uh, strength. Underneath the K9, we were actually pleasantly surprised at how neat it looked. I thought underneath it was better than expected. Yes. Um, imports, generally speaking, are getting better every year, which is a good thing to see. The fact that it's got a DI35 hitch and it's on trailing arm suspension, I think you can go places with it. You will be held back by its overall dimensions and its weight, but I think overall it wasn't too bad. And it towed, I thought, okay behind the Hilux. Uh, no, sorry, we actually used an yeah, Isuzu used for that. that. Yeah, we yeah. used our own Isuzu, uh, which had plenty of power. Comforts wise, um, it's quite spacious. I mean, it's only got one bed inside. There are no bunks to bash your head on or anything like that. And there's enough room in there to be able to stop and have a, a dinner or a lunch if the weather's bad. So I thought it was okay from a comfort point of view, from internal usability. It does have a 14 litre um, Truma ultra rapid hot water system. So you can have a nice hot shower. That, that um, induction cooktop, which comes standard with as well, is a nice touch. So you can cook a little bit inside. Without the gas fumes too, which is always good to yeah. see. Yeah, I'm a big fan of induction inside for exactly that. And the shower head, it's funny because these pop tops, we've noticed in a few of these, the shower head was actually in a good spot. Using the K9, like it's, it's a familiar shape and size um, and a familiar system for popping the top, pretty straightforward. The Candy Leveler, I think it's actually a pretty cool bit of kit, standard on all of them as well. Manual awning, positive thing I thought. Electric ones can be a bit unreliable. A manual one, as long as you pick it down on a windy day, you're just going to have to wind it and wind it out. So from an ease of use point of view, I thought it was actually not too bad. And at about 60 grand drive away, what do you think um, for value for money, Kath? It's got the sort of the fit out and the features that we're, we come to expect of a, a hybrid of its type. I think the thing for me was, you know, when we're in the judging arena there, it was really self-evident that, that Stephen takes a tremendous amount of personal responsibility for delivering a camper that's RVS compliant, that complies with Australian consumer standards. And, and that's likely to be music to the ears, particularly of people who are wary of an imported camper. I mean, Stephen's call was to say, look, you know, if it's no good, I don't want it. I mean, and if that's true, um, then that's a really good selling point. Mm. I noticed that if you were to cross shop that against other imported campers, you might be paying about five to six grand more, maybe seven to 10 if you were getting one with a lot of quality inclusions. And I asked why, and it's because he's direct to market. If you're buying one of these, you know, you've, you've actually got a pretty sharp price because it is direct to market. Came with a six year warranty, which I thought was pretty impressive again for an import. And for me, that was one of the X factors is, is what I'm getting at. But you know, aside from that, it's ease of use was pretty powerful. But what do you think, Kath? What was its X factor? Well, we saw it uh, in the judging arena. It's eye catching, you know, it, it just is. It's a well appointed home away from home uh, at a very competitive price point. Fundamentally, you know, the canine coyote, I mean, this is the kind of, of, of camper. It's not going to chew up your wallet at the point of purchase. And it's, it's not going to crap on your holidays if things don't go into, you know, entirely according to plan. Another thing the X Factor was is that warranty for me is the fact that warranty is underwritten by AW which is all the way through to Lloyd's, so it's a, you know, one of the big insurers of the world. And that means that if you do have a problem, you're not calling Steve from Coyote who sold it to you, 
you're calling one of AW's representatives who will then point you at one of their 200 plus repairers around the country. So you could tow one of these across the WA and not be stung by the fact that the seller is in Queensland. You know, you're dealing with an international company with a good reputation for service. So I think um, I like that. I think it's a clever way of doing a warranty for an imported, imported product. And I think particularly as we've talked about the target audience for this, they don't want the hassle. They want to be able to pick up the phone and they want the issue to be solved near to them, not 500, 1,000 kilometres away from them. So that's the K9 Coyote at Camper Trailer of the Year 2022 sponsored by the power of Red Arc. If you enjoyed that video, please make sure you like and subscribe. And if you want to watch more, we have 10 more campers at this year's shootout you'll find in our channel.